Hey everyone, mango 7 roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7 and today we're just going to explore a little bit into RTA. Haven't done it yet this season and we're just going to try a few new units. Specifically, um, I want to play with Rem. I know everybody's played with her a billion times, but she's just so much fun to me. I also want to try out my stupid Mort build, which sucks, but uh, I just want to try it. Okay, so my first battle was just like a complete roll because uh, I tried to meme a little too far and I went a little too close to the sun. So we're going to try to go a little bit standardized now uh, and just use some units sprinkled in instead of just use, you know, like all the units, which is what I did last time. So um, I'm definitely going to use Mercedes. I'm not leaving this battle without Mercedes. I'm also definitely going to be using a Ravi. So um, I'm sure they're just going to pick a Vildred and yep. A Vildred and Landy and all the things like everybody always does. Ridiculous. But we're gonna we're gonna try our best. We are going to try our best here. Yeah, Landy and then like Tywin. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I will pick the Maid Chloe because I feel like I need Maid Chloe. We are then going to pick one more unit. We need to not go too close to the sun. We need to go. We need to go a step back from memeing. We can't have six units at once all memeing. Uh. So we've got that here. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And we are going to be picking uh, the the Mercedes is the last spot. Don't put all your faith in me. Bum 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 bum. I will be banning the. I'm going to ban the Vildred here. I think he's going to let the two fire units through, right? The kind of bad part about this team is my Asari doesn't have anybody to skill 3 for her first until way after. But it does boost her second turn, which is kind of cool. Okay, so let's... Let's land on Landy. We actually landed on somebody? That is not something that happened. So if I AoE right now... I'm pretty sure it's just going to dispel that. So I'm just going to attack again here. Resist. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I bet your, I bet your Landia has resist there. I believe you. <laughs> Iceria makes me so salty sometimes. Resist in this game are something else, you know? They are something else for sure. Mercedes, don't get stunned. Okay, Mercedes, resist. Uh, this won't kill anybody, I don't think. Although we don't have any Aureuses, right? Oh, it super kills two people. But we did counter. And we countered again, and we crit a bunch. And never get back on your feet. That's a little unfortunate because that means our Luna is not going to get to do what she needs to do. But we are going to do this here. Get rid of skill nullifier. And now we've got a skill three, so let's see how this works. And now she'll revive after she gets hit. Okay. Kill some, lands a bomb. We then get to go again, so I'm going to try to stun this here. No go, but it's fine, it's fine. We're still in a good position, right? So if I do this, he just dispels, right? I'm just going to go like this and keep single target attacking, land some bombs. That way she's guaranteed to die next turn, even through barriers. Don't be scared. And then we've got this here. So I want to go here, but it won't kill her. And I want an extra turn. So we're going to go here, even though we just bombed her a bunch of times. I will punish you. Pretty cool. We got a bunch of CR up and now we're just going to skill one. We're gonna bop. No go. Good battle. Mercedes honestly carried this battle for me. That one turn where she counterattacked and went twice. Like, that was pretty good, right? Look at her damage. Okay, Mercedes. I see you. I see you, Mercedes. Let's keep going. Okay, let's ban Kawazu. We should really ban Arby, right? Like, everybody picks Arby. He's just destructive versus any team that isn't the best. 
I think that's kind of the worst part about Arbiter Viltrid is he literally like he just destroys any sort of strategy slash whatever you have if it's not like a specific high tier unit, right? Like he just decimates anybody that wants to have fun, which is one of the problems I have with him. So he's really who I should keep banning. Like Landy doesn't really do that, you know? There's elemental advantage, there's all those things I can play around. Uh, but Arby definitely does. So I'm gonna pick that and I kind of want to build an AoE ahead as well here. I'm going to bring Mort. You can't stop me. Uh, and then we're also going to bring Mercedes for sure. Don't know what she does yet, but that was a pretty intense thing she just said. I'll cut your throat? Really, girl? I'm banning Sangelica for sure. Uh, that way they either force ban the... Uh... Okay, now I'm jealous of this guy here. Yeah, he didn't ban, he didn't ban the Meg Chloe, so that was definitely the right call. I'm definitely okay with that. You've got a long way to go, kid. What does she do? Honestly, forget. So she... She prepared for the next attack? Leave it to me. Is she tanky? Can I kill this? She's not tanky, right? Yeah, she's really not tanky. Oh, that was a noise and a half. Did you all hear that noise? That's what she sounded like, by the way, if you weren't watching. Probably should have not uh, repeated that. We've got Mort here with the AoE. I'm gonna do like 4k damage if he's lucky. Mm, 4.7, looking pretty good. This guy is doing what I'm doing, you know? Just trying to have fun and it's just not working. Hit somebody else and have Mercedes. Nice. Hit somebody else and have Mercedes skill three. No, come on. There we go, okay. Mercedes just scared him, you know? We'll try this again here. And uh, I just wanna do like one good battle, you know? Uh, we've got... We're gonna pick a Ravi first since I feel like that's what people are gonna be taking. And I have to pick Mig Chloe, right? None of my strategies work without a carry like Mig Chloe, so... And this will be a pretty good start. He did pick an, a nice unit there, but it'll be a pretty good start to hit Mercedes and the Summertime Iceria. I really should finish upgrading Iceria as well. Prow. So we can bring Mort into these two. Oh, that was my last pick. I should have picked Luna. Oh, no. Really should have picked Luna there, honestly. Uh, I think Luna would have saved me. Because Luna deals with these ones for sure. Okay, we really don't want the uh, Mercedes with debuffs, right? Or with stun, because if she doesn't get her skill 3 off, um, she's in trouble, right? All of the things are happening. Don't stun the Mercedes. Okay, okay. Um, this works like this, right? Because we can do this and it can still land. Yeah, it can still land even through the increased hit rate. So I think she can't get countered by the Ken, obviously. Well, she can, but not 100%. Oh, this, this is the part I hate. They all get their counterattacks ahead of time. So let's just go here. Miserable creature. Not bad for such a wretched being. We kick this guy's butt. Mercedes? Let me Mercedes. Let me skill three. Not bad damage there. And attack somebody. Attack somebody in that Mercedes counter. Please. AoE! AoE! I need you to AoE! Yes! <laughs>
Oh, she didn't counter. But he did. Step back. Flies. Not quite what I was looking for. Shall we test fate? Uh, we can burn. No, we're not gonna burn. Has he proct his skill two yet? I swear. He hasn't proct his skill two yet, right? And he's crit like three times, which is a little bit unfortunate. I will release my power. Uh, and the burn increases damage dealt, sure. Okay, uh, I like Mercedes right now. This is really fun. Uh, I don't want to go too long here. I just want to do a couple battles and showcase just a little bit to get a feel for them and kind of tweak them a little bit. So let's go show you my Mercedes right now since I think y'all will be wondering. I did Mulligore her and I will be plus 15 in her. I really like her. She's really fun. Um, we've got plus three, plus five, plus three right now. And obviously I want to get this to plus five. I'm not sure how much plus five on the first skill matters since she's mostly like a skill three skill two thing uh but we'll see i probably will do it anyway she's sitting at 3500 attack 1300 defense uh 11 khp she's got very low base stats by the way so she's really hard to get stats up and uh for example she's got like 4500 base hp or something ridiculous so i had to use a flat hp ring to try to get it up there just even a little bit uh, and this leaves her with 142 speed, 92 crit, 315 crit damage. And, um, the important part with her, at least I assumed, would be either she needs to go fast or she needs to be able to survive some AoE, right? Because you don't actually, um, you don't actually get this, right? Like, the immense power here. So you need that to, you need that after you use your skill 3, right? So... It does say that, right? Releases the power of the book. Immense power will remain throughout the battle. It does say that, right? Do I I have to do I not have to skill 3 first? I thought because it was attached to Blazing Eye of Cal. I thought because it was attached to Blazing Eye of Cal that I had to use skill 3 first. But it does not say that here, right? Releases the power of the ancient book to attack all enemies before increasing attack. A critical hit will increase the damage dealt. Immense power will remain throughout the battle. Like, it doesn't say gain immense power or anything like that. She just kind of gets it. Uh, doesn't say anything on her skill 2 and doesn't say anything there either. So I'm actually really curious about that. Um, I saw she had a buff at the start, so maybe it's just there all the time. And this line is just tacked in, which makes her even better than I thought. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.